time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. Okay, so in front of me here at Radio 1's Academy in Exeter, there are many people from the local area all wearing yellow ponchos with water in hand and goggles on. You can't watch this live now. You'll be able to watch it on iPlay later and YouTube. In the middle of all these players is Chris and Evan Davis, host of BBC Two's Newsnight. So good. How did this ever happen? I That's don't understand. Uh, okay, so guys, are you ready? Ready. Ready over there? Uh, ready. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Okay. Yep. Ready as we're yes. ever going to be. Yep. Okay. Wait, Scott, do you know what Evan just said to me? He was like, should I wear the goggles? It's probably one of the highlights <laughs> of my life. <laughs> should, should I wear the goggles? <laughs> Okay, so are we ready to play Innuendo Bingo? Mm-hmm. As yes. ready as we'll ever be. Okay. All right, so the game is this. Everybody puts the water in their mouths, um, including you, Evan, including you, Chris, and everybody who is now assembled here for our mass game of Innuendo Bingo. So, Do we go do for it. Now? Water in your mouths, okay. please. Fill your cheeks as much as you can, as much water as possible. And we start with one of my personal favourites from Tuesday, as Bradley Walsh gives the contestants on the chase another extraordinary multiple choice question. What term was used to describe a verbal assault from Margaret Thatcher? A, carpet bagging, B, hand bagging, or C, tea bagging? I don't know who writes those questions for Bradley, but uh, they are having a laugh. Mischievous. Mischievous. Very mischievous. Mischievous. Next, we're going to Liverpool versus Villarreal on Five Live. Now, I'm not a massively huge fan of football. Evan, are you a fan of football? Mm. No? Mm. Okay. See, if you think you can get a bit more into it when you've heard what happened during Daniel Sturridge's free kick. Sturridge, now. I thought Sturridge was just going to pinch you off. It was yours. A master plan. Look, there's a whisper. Look. If you just do this and dummy over, then I'll come round the side, pull your shorts down and whack it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is great. I do enjoy it when there's a lot of people playing. Next, we're going to Evan Davis on BBC Radio 4, one of our nation's finest broadcasters. A true professional. But sometimes, and it does happen to us all, your mind just wanders a bit. You're listening to Today on Radio 4 with James Nocte in Edinburgh and Evan Davis in London. It's 8 o'clock on Wednesday, the 18th of September. (laughs) Is that a first? Is that a first where you played an innuendo by someone who's playing innuendo bingo. Why, no, it's happened quite a lot. No. Mm. No. We had the hairy bikers on the other day and they're always on it. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to be a first for a moment. That there. was uh, oh, that so was a great good. clip. Do you remember do you remember that day, Evan? I do remember that day. It's just it was a slip. I had nothing else on my mind. I know, I know. <laughs> it's eight o'clock clock on Wednesday, the eighteenth of <laughs> Okay, more water please guys. More water. My glasses are fogging up. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Next, it's Monty Don on Gardener's World. Everyone fill your water, water, please. Now, whatever Monty gets up to in his spare time, I would rather he kept it in the privacy of his own garden. We've got two types of box here. We've got one with a circular hole, which is perfect for tits. <laughs> Okay, more water, please, everybody. Oh, really? It's quite it refreshing, here. isn't it? Knocking it back. Really quite refreshing. You know the world's most beautiful egg? It's a show on BBC Four where, as well as telling us about some fascinating eggs from around the world, they also let us into a practice that was once common amongst the Danish Royal family, listen to this. It's based on a similar egg in the Danish royal collection, which Maria would have known from her childhood. But little could she have imagined as she fondled her chicken on that Easter Sunday morning. (laughs) This was the start of something huge. (laughs) One of my faves, that one. 
Okay. <coughs> Next. It's chaos. It is absolute my chaos. Emptying my goggles. Evan's just emptying his goggles there. Next, we're going to Gogglebox on Channel 4. Great show. Water, please. Reload. Listen carefully to the clip. Kate and Graham are discussing their pet dog, who got a lovely surprise when sniffing around an old people's home. The well, place he likes going best is to nursing home. He likes going up to old people's home, doesn't he, best? He likes sniffing. Last time I took him, he had a couple of pink wafers off this one old lady and then he put his nose right up her skirt and she gave him a custard cream. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's a good trick if you can do it. It's gone through. Has it gone through? Oh. <laughs> okay, next it's Dragon's Den on oh. BBC Two. Dragon's Den. Great show. Refill, please. Now, Deborah Meaden might have 100 grand next to her on the table, but I don't think she was expecting to pay for this. There are not many people who have been in the den who have put an instrument in Deborah's mouth and then played the Pink Panther. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's a great one. one. Finally, we're going to Life of Mammals on BBC One. Here we go, Ivan. Mm. Last one. Here we go. David Attenborough is 90 years old. But I think regardless of your age, this is something we can all relate to. What, Chris? Mm. I think we can all relate to this. It's a bonding session that reminds each hunter of its place in the team. Invaluable in the struggle to come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That was a great game today of Innuendo Bingo. Well done, Evan. Thank you very much, Evan Davis, our most highbrow edition yet of Innuendo Bingo. Absolutely fantastic scenes here in Exeter. Incredible. Thank you very much, Evan. Thank you, Scott. BBC. BBC Radio 1. BBC Radio 1. Where it begins.